Your word has power to lose your word has. Your heart, word has to lose. What is about purpose? That purpose is very important. When Mahatma Gandhi spoke something, lakhs of the people stood mark where you can change, where you can transform, where you can learn the skills, where you can actually learn the art of public speaking. Let's start a great session. Today, let's master public speaking skill. Let's master presentation. Let's master stage. And let's master communication skills. Today I'm going to share with you the biggest tips of my life that I have learned, I have gained, I have observed and I have explored. Let's talk about, give me the page, I will discuss about it. Give me the page, I will discuss, give me another page, I will discuss about it. Give me another page, I will discuss about it. Yes, absolutely. Let's start and let's understand. See this page, ladies and gentlemen. What happens with us, like we must have played this great and special game that we need to match the lines from all small circles. But what we do, we want to jump. We want to come from this top circle to this bottom circle within one go within a single time and moment it's impossible we cannot we all know what we need to do we need to follow the steps because we need to follow slow and steady rules laws practice importance of establishing and foundation so let's understand the people whose speeches have marked the names in the history of public speaking oratory, you will just call their names every time. You will recall the name of Winston Churchill when he said that we shall fight on the beaches. And that line got very famous and that fascinated each of us because that line was very impactful. When the Martin Luther, the King Jr. said, I have a dream. I have a dream that one day my kids and children would say that we live in such a beautiful country where there are no racism, discrimination. We all black and white are together and equal. That line marked the name in the history of public speaking and communication. Skill. Ladies and gentlemen, you must not forget the word spoken by Indra Gandhi that ki jati vaad shabd ko hata diya jaye because I don't want to do casteism. You must remember Nelson Mandela once said that I am prepared to die. My marne ke liye tayar when that line got so much fascination, love, affection, appreciation, and also that encouraged thousands and lakhs of the people who stood by Nelson Mandela and they said, Yes, we are ready to just walk and march forward with you, Nelson Mandela ji. You must not forget the lines spoken by Subhash Chandra Bose, Tum mujhe khun do, main tumhe azadi dunga, and also. That in clubs in the bar spoken by Bhagavad ladies and gentlemen, multiple people spoke, multiple lines he spoke, multiple words which mark the name in the history of public speaking. We can never forget them, those lines, those contents, those speeches, because those speeches had a common thing that those had speeches had a purpose with the related life, with the reality of the life, with the reality of the life we must understand. We get complete preparation. We just get the devotion, dedication. We get complete prepare. But what happens with us, right? We cannot mark the name of us in the minds of the people, brain of the people, hearts of the people. What the mistakes and blunder we make at the time of expressing ourselves on the stage. What mistakes we ma make that time. We don't understand actually why it happens with us. We must understand that, ladies and gentlemen. And that is the single word that is purpose of your speech. That is the purpose of your speech. You must actually keep in your mind what is the purpose of your speech. What is the purpose of your speech? What is the why of your speech? What is the reason of your speech? What is the profit of your speech for your audience, for the people who are sitting in the auditorium to appreciate and listen to you, ladies and gentlemen? You must understand that. You have good words. 
you have good preparation you have good content you have good presentation skills you have good public speaking skills you have good energy you have good flow you have good iq level you have good sense of humor you have good presentation skill you have good expression x skill but what is about purpose what is about purpose that purpose is very important when mahatma gandhi spoke something lakhs of the people stood by him and by him and said that we are ready to just go for the dandi march namak march why because he had a purpose for the freedom of india ladies and gentlemen you have to find out the purpose that purpose is very very important why lakhs of the people understood that nelson mandela's statements and expressions and they stood by nelson mandela and they said yes we are ready to work with you why lakhs of the people crowded just surrounded to the martin luther the king and they said yes we are with you why subhashan the boss founded and established one of the army and thousand and lakhs of people joined it and they said yes subhash ji we are with you that is what you need to understand the purpose of your speech the purpose should be to encourage the people the purpose should be to motivate the people the purpose should be to educate the people the purpose should be to persuade the people the purpose should be to encourage the people the purpose should be to support the people the purpose should be to actually deliver and give something to the people and if you don't have purpose you just remember one thing that you will not mark your name in the history of public speaking and communication excuse ladies and gentlemen why don't you want to stand you every time just come on the stage go up on the stage without any reason without any particular topic without the main idea without any emotion without any thing without any word and actually target what will happen the time people will reject you they are not going to keep your name your memory your expression your topics your speech for the long period of time and for the entire world entire life we can say ladies and gentlemen mark it mark it in your mind remember it remember it and just never forget it because the world has a great power what brought the revolution evolution resolution what created the history what changed the history your word can actually make somebody cry your word can make somebody smile your word can make somebody relieve your word can make somebody strengthen your word can make somebody powerful your word can change somebody's view point of view opinion your word can change someone's opinion and mindset your word can energize motivate inspire your word can actually heal your word can inform your word can motivate your in war can give a lot of things to everybody because your war has power your war has power you need to recall again and again you need to sit this again and again in your mind that your word has power your word has power to you lose your word has your had what has to lose you have to understand your word has power ladies and gentlemen this julus is very important the the julus will walk with you if your word is powerful the julus will walk with you there will be dhol dhamaka dhadkan and dil ki dhadkan just with the help of your power of your words julus <laughs> ladies and gentlemen you have to just keep this in your mind start working from today start working from the established men start working from the foundation start working from the basic start working from the base and start working from right now start working from a single word start working whatever you are going to speak that should be meaningful start working that there should be purposeful start working today right now from just that you always will speak for the betterment of the people for the betterment of society the country the world start speaking start implementing in your life that you you are going to speak valuable words start understanding an importance of actually values you start understanding the value uh, values of ethics the, the values of actually you know education motivation inspiration you start understanding all these things and you are going to mark the history you are going to mark the history you are going to just be printed you are going to be published in the history of public speaking and your name will be just there remember it ladies and gentlemen never try to jump always go and steady always practice always practice always practice practice makes a man perfect sometimes what happens that we go blank
We want to speak something else, we just utter something else. We want to, we are prepared something else, we just utter something else. We go blank, we fumble, we get stuck, we start fumbling, we start lisping, uh, uh, stammering, and you know, it's stuttering. It happens with us, right? But it's okay, let it happen. You keep on, continue. Your, 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 your car will stop, your journey will stop, there will be storm, there will be cyclone, there will be that Adhi uh, Tufan. But what you need to understand, you need to just go slow and steady. You need to keep consistent. You need to keep continuity. Go walk, run continuously, consistently, concentrate with focus, concentration, with dedication, devotion, direction, and then you will reach your destination. That is what you need to do in the history of public speaking. You want to be an effective public speaker? Go for it. You want to be an effective public speaker? Go for it. Practice it. Learn it. Be trained. Try to find out a trainer who can instruct you, who can guide you. Try to join Happiness Institute where you can get and gain a lot of things, where you can mark, where you can change, where where you can transform, where you can learn the skills, where you can actually learn the art of public speaking and you are going to be a phenomenal speaker, a multi-talented speaker, a purposeful speaker, a reasonable speaker and a great and impactful speaker. And if you are ready to just fascinate and impress the world, start right now, be the part of happiness institute and change the way you think you just, you know, get embarrassed and you just start shy away from public speaking, you will love it and like it, start working, find out the purpose, why do you want to speak, find out the why, why do you want to speak, thank you very much everyone, may God bless you.